BS Abdul Rahman University, earlier known as BS Abdul Rahman Crescent Engineering College. Lesson. Good morning to all. I am Vinu S K, Assistant Professor in Civil Engineering Department, BS Abdul Rahman University. Today, my topic is different type of structural systems adopted in tall structures. So what is why do you go for tall structure? We go for tall structure because of the occupations of land. All the agricultural lands are getting occupied, and because of scarcity of land in urban areas, for because of this reasons, we are going for tall structures. And if you see this picture, you can find different type of tall tall structure which has been developed and which has been built across the world. And my content today is. different types of structural system which is adopted in the tall structure and my first system is tubular structure and tubular system before going into the topic i wanted to know that how the tubular system exactly look like so this is how the tubular system looks it is just simple that just consider this as a box this is a just a tubular structure so whenever so if if we talk about tall structure what is the first thing come to the mind is the lateral force what are the lateral forces the first lateral force is the wind force and the second one is the seismic load so the first thing which we have to take action is the wind force so whenever the wind act on the building what happen to the building the building moves so this moving part we call it as a sway so this sway has to be arrested in a tall structure for that purpose only we are going for the system so uh, one such system is that the tubular system so tubular system is nothing but so uh, this this is one of the uh, high rise building in each floor like say for uh, say G, G plus five floors combined together. All the peripheral of the columns are being connected by a tubes. So this type of tube give a tubular action. So whenever the load, the lateral load or wind load acts on this structure, what happens? The stress distribution happens. This peripheral part we call it as a web region where triangular distribution of stresses occurs. and the interior portions we call it as a flange region where a rectangular distribution of stresses happen so this distribution mainly occurs due to the tubular actions only so this type of uh, tubular structure can be adopted for up to 15 stories more than 15 stories it cannot be adopted because it becomes un uneconomical and you can see the different types of uh, tubular structures here you can see the that is called a braced tubular structure and this is different types of tubular structure which can be adopted and another reason is that the entire gravity entire gravity load can be accommodated by this columns as well as by this tubular actions the second part we are going to see is braced tube structures everything is same that of uh, a uh, uh, tubular structure only the only thing is i told you about the stress distribution so in the tubular uh, action what happened triangular stress as plus the rectangular stress distribution happens so this triangular uh, stress distribution if we call it as a shear lag effect means the structure get failure because of the shear effect so in order to avoid such shear effect we go for this diagonal bracings so let me tell you this is the peripheral edge so all the stress concentration will be here which is triangular distribution so the triangular stresses get distributed by this diagonal members so that is why we providing the diagonal members here so also the another advantage of braced tube structure is that the spacing between the column can be increased and depth of the section depth of the beam section can be reduced so uh, with which the windows panels and all we can provide very big so that is another advantage of braced tube structures another one is bundled system a very good example of bundled system is the Bu dubai burj so bundled system is nothing but com com combination of tubular systems one or more tubular system just just uh, let me tell you this is one tubular this is one tubular system and this is one tubular system so com com combination of these two together we call it as a bundled system and these wires have presented this as a tubular action so this is how the tubular actions will be there which will be connected throughout the peripheral of the columns where in which the load gets transmitted to the ground floor and th these are the structures and you can see this is a single tube two tubes combined three tubes combined and all together all the tubes gets combined so because of this the entire lateral resistance and the stiffness of the building is also increased 
and another system is the tube in tube. So you can see here a tube inside a very big tube. We call this as a core and we call this as a hull and that is why this type of structure we call it as a hull core system means it combined the gravity load gets uh, occupied that is get uh, uh, it gets transmitted to the hull to the hull and then to the core. So that is why we call this as a tube in tube or hull core system. So these are the few example life examples like a, a Haji building in Lampur. And the last system we are going to see is the outrigger system. It is a very useful system outrigger system. Similar way the outrigger system is also reduces the deflection and the lateral force acting on the building. Another thing I wanted to tell is stiffness. What is stiffness? Stiffness is nothing but force required to produce unit displacement. So this is the this is the very important formula which we have studied earlier. So what happened is when we adopt this type of system, the stiffness increases drastically. As the stiffness increases, the displacement get reduced. So you can see here they, they did not provide any outrigger. Outrigger is nothing but a combination of trusses. Say likewise, same like a tubular belt. That is how that outrigger also acts. The thing is, this is a made up of truss system whereas the tubular things is made up of a beam system ok that is the difference and here we did not provide any outrigger so you can see the truss how it has been we can see the truss how it has been distributed whereas you can see here the outrigger and you can see here how the stresses has been distributed how much the stress has been reduced and here you can see the uh, outrigger system and here you can see the how trigger system and where in which the stresses has been reduced drastically. So with which the stiffness as the stiffness increases the displacement also get increased. So this is the actions and you can see the sway effect. And the last portion is shear wall system. Shear wall system is adopted in most of the structures, in most of the ongoing construction. Shear wall is nothing but com uh, combine, combined of reinforced concrete cement which is starting from the ground surface itself and uh, the same the lateral resistance. So this is the building means the lateral force completely been arrested with the help of the shear wall effect in which the displacement can be reduced. This displacement is reduced drastically. And you can see the thing. So without shear wall, shear wall behavior and frame behavior. So shear wall means the deflection is very minimum. And for frame behavior, you can see how much the deflection is. So deflection is so much. So in which after adopting shear wall system, the displacement and the lateral effect sway everything we can reduce. Thank you.